In this video, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you five different eBay businesses that are making over a hundred thousand dollars every single month. And the reason why I decided to make this video is because when I first started my first ever eBay business over nine years ago, the reason why I started it in the first place is because I used to see so many different people on newspapers that were making millions of dollars from simple eBay businesses from their house. And that's what inspired me to get started. And that's the reason why I make videos just like this to inspire any one of you out there that's on the verge of starting their own eBay business, but maybe you feel like you can't do it or you don't know where to start. I want videos just like this to inspire you so that you know exactly what you need to do and how you need to structure your store in the best possible way so that you can have the best possible results. Now if you're new to this channel and you've never seen my face before, welcome my name is Sam and on this channel what I mainly do is break down various different tips and tricks when it comes to making money online so make sure that you like this video if you want more content just like this. Don't forget to subscribe as well for more videos that's going to help you out on your online business journey. Let's not waste any more time, let's get right into it. So when it comes to knowing exactly how much an eBay store is making, the way I like to find out is by using something called Zeek Analytics, which is a product research software. So I'm on my dashboard right now, and as you can see at the top right here, they've got something called competitor research. So I'm just gonna click on that. And once you're on this page, all you simply need to do is copy and paste any eBay seller's username right in here. And this is the first eBay store that we're gonna look at. They're called Berlin Tools, and they basically sell a variety of different tools and accessories and DIY equipment. So when it comes to finding out their username, for anyone that's completely new to eBay that's watching this video, you just need to click on any one of their listings. So I'm just gonna click on this one right here. And then what you need to do is copy the username in this section right here where it says seller information. Head back over here and just paste it in there. Then you're gonna leave it to the last 30 days and then you're gonna click on search. And as you guys can see, Zeek Analytics is gonna bring up a lot of useful information. The first thing that I always look at is the sales earnings. And as you can see, Berlin Tools was able to make over $120,000 in the last 30 days. And they were also able to sell almost 7,000 individual items. Now there's so many different reasons why they've been able to do this. One of the reasons, if we just go back over to their store, is because they're selling items that people need, people are searching for these particular items. And it's also products that a lot of people won't necessarily want to sell when it comes to people deciding to build an eBay business. And because of that, they're gonna have a competitive edge. And that's why I always advise you guys that watch this channel. When it comes to deciding on what product to sell, don't go with a generic one that you know every single person and their dog is thinking about selling on eBay. Try and find items that are selling well, but you also know not everyone wants to sell it because maybe they're not as popular or maybe they're not as easy to sell. And also try and sell items that you believe that you've also got some sort of expert knowledge in. And that's exactly what this seller has done because majority of these different items, I don't even know what they are. But at the same time, they've still been able to make a decent amount from all of these different products that's allowing them to make over $120,000. One of the last things that's also enabled them to be successful to this level, if I just jump back over to one of their listings, is the fact that they've got over 100,000 positive feedback. So even though they're selling around 7,000 units in one single month, they've still been able to maintain 100% positive feedback. And any customer that comes across any one of their listings and sees this, is most likely to buy from them rather than someone else. And that's another thing that I always advise you guys, which is to always try and maintain impeccable customer feedback because the more you do that, and for the longer time that you do that, you're gonna be able to generate income over the foreseeable future. The next eBay store that's making over $100,000 every month is this one right here, and they're called WJD Store, and they made over $138,000 in the last 30 days. Now, the interesting thing is about this store is that they've only got 18 listings, and they've only sold 524 individual items, but they were still able to make a decent amount of money. And the main reason for this is because they're selling a high ticket product. So as you can see right there, Zeek Analytics is also able to show us the average price that they're selling their products for in this particular eBay store. And the average price in terms of all of the different items that they're selling combined is around $264. So it's definitely a high ticket item that they're selling. Now the items that they are selling, let me just cut to the chase, is iPhones. And it goes without saying that iPhones are extremely popular. If you're able to find a supplier that's gonna be able to source you with iPhones on a continuous basis, you're gonna be able to generate income fairly easily. Because people are always going onto websites like eBay for them to find cheap iPhones. Because a lot of people in this day and age are not able to live 
without an iPhone. So if they break their iPhone or something happens to their phone or they just want to buy a new phone, they're going to go into eBay and try to get it at a discounted price. And that's the main reason why this eBay seller was able to make $138,000 in just 30 days. And the crazy thing is, if we go over to Tetherpeak, which is eBay's product research tool that you can find if you log into your eBay account, click on research at the top, then you're going to see Tetherpeak product research. Once you're here, you can type in any keyword you want. So I've entered iPhone and I've also selected the mobile and smartphones category. And if we scroll down here, eBay is able to show us how much money in total has been spent on this product in the last 365 days. And it's over 179 million pounds, which must be around 200, maybe 210, maybe $230 million. So a lot of money is definitely being spent on iPhones right now. And this is just eBay UK. This is not even eBay US. So again, if you're able to find a supplier, which is not easy to do, but if you are able to find a supplier for iPhones, or maybe you can find a creative way for you to source iPhones. Like for example, you can try and find damaged iPhones that are being sold on eBay fix them up and then start selling them. That's a great side hustle for anyone out there to start right now. But of course, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take patience for you to do so. But my main aim with this video is just to enlighten you on how much money is being spent on these products and how much money different sellers are able to make. All right, so moving on to store number three, which is this business right here called Robust Parts. And they sell car parts. As you can tell from their logo right there, it says Robust and then it says car parts. And they've got a variety of different car parts and accessories that they're currently selling at the moment. And if we go over to Zeke Analytics, we can see that in the last 30 days, they were able to generate over $152,000. And this goes without saying as to why they've been able to do this, because people are always going to need to buy car parts when their car breaks down. People are always going to want a cheap alternative rather than them going directly to the manufacturer for them to buy a generic part. They rather go onto places like eBay for them to find a cheap alternative. Buying parts for my car was actually one of the first items that I actually bought on eBay many years ago. When I got my first car, which was a Vauxhall Corsa, I went onto eBay to find cheap parts because I wasn't able to buy the parts directly from the mechanic. So I had to find the cheap part first on the internet, then go to the mechanic. So that way I was able to save money. So that's why I personally know that people are always gonna go onto places like eBay because it's much cheaper for them to do so. And one of the benefits of using something like Zeke Analytics when it comes to doing competition research just like this is that you're gonna be able to scroll down over here and you're gonna be able to see the top performing items in the seller store. And as you can see, the top few items that perform well in the last 30 days that made them the most money has Ford in the title. So this one is a Ford part. This one is also a Ford part. This one as well. So we now know that maybe parts for Ford are more popular on eBay, which means that if you also wanted to start a car part business on eBay at the moment, you may want to look for Ford parts. Now, of course, you are going to have to do a little bit more research to make sure that this is actually the best one for you to get into. But at the same time, using something like Zeke Analytics is just going to give you a better idea of what types of items are selling, as well as what models, as well as what make, etc, etc. And by the way, if you want to sign up to Zeke Analytics for a seven day trial, don't forget that you can do that by clicking the link in my description down below so that you can go through, test it out, double check whatever competitor that you want to see exactly how much money they're making, see what items they're selling. So they will give you a better idea of exactly how you can start your own eBay business. The next eBay business that's making an absolute killing is Ninja Kitchen. And they sell a variety of different blenders and kitchen appliances and things like that. But as we can see on Zeke Analytics, they were able to make over a quarter of a million dollars in the last 30 days. And they're able to do this with only 59 active listings on their store at the moment. And one of the main reasons why they were able to do this is because they're selling high ticket items. So majority of the items, as you can see, are currently being sold for around $200, $100, $179, which is the reason why they're able to make so much revenue. Now, if we just go over to their eBay store and take a look, we can see that they've branded their store really, really good. And if we just scroll through just so that we can get an idea of which items they're selling. So right there, they're selling blenders and smoothie makers air fryers, a lot of popular kitchen appliances that people are buying at the moment. And even though they're able to make this much money on eBay right now, if we go over to Amazon, we can see that they've also got an Amazon store as well. And on their Amazon store, they're also selling the exact same products that they've got available on their eBay store. And as well as having an Amazon store, they've also got their own website as well. And the main reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is because most people, as soon as they make, let's say $10,000 from their eBay store in just 30 days, maybe $50,000 from one eBay store, they're gonna get complacent. However, 
businesses like this are focused on building a long-term brand and even though they're making a life-changing amount of money in just 30 days from one eBay store, that hasn't stopped them from also building up an Amazon store and also building up their own website as well. And that's one thing I'm always advising you guys, which is to have multiple different streams of revenue coming from your e-commerce brand. Don't just focus on selling on eBay. Of course, it's a great way for you to get started, but down the line, you wanna make sure that you're diversifying your income over the months of you starting. As soon as you start to see some success from your eBay business, you need to have the mindset of now branching out to your own website, very important, as well as maybe branching out to Amazon as well. So the fifth and final eBay business that we're gonna look at that's doing over 100K in just one month is this store right here called LM Electrical. And they sell various different spares for various different appliances, like for example, vacuum cleaner spares, tumble dryer spares, washing machine spares, etc., etc. And the reason why this store has been able to be successful and they're making over $324,000 in just 30 days is because they're not only selling items that normal customers are gonna to wanna to buy, but they're also selling items that businesses are going to buy as well. And this is called B2B. If you're able to sell products that you know other businesses need for them to make money, you're gonna be able to have recurring income coming into your business on a regular basis. This is something that I like to do with all of my e-commerce stores anyway. I don't just like to target normal customers because that's gonna be maybe one-off purchases here and there. If I'm able to sell items that businesses need for them to survive as well, then I know that I'm gonna be able to build a business over the long term. And this may be something that you might wanna do as well if you're currently a beginner looking to build your own e-commerce brand. But my main goal with this video was to enlighten you and show you the possibilities of what you can do and what you can achieve if you put your mind to growing your own eBay business. And I hope I was able to do that. And if you found any value in this video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well for more videos that's going to help you out on your eBay business journey. And if you want to sign up to a free webinar where I go through a lot of the things that I needed to know when it came to starting my eBay store from scratch and getting it to the point where I was able to make over $3,000 every single day in sales, then click the first link in the description down below for that free webinar. Or if you rather watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, that's gonna break down the basic steps that you need to know when it comes to starting an eBay business, and that video has helped out over 75,000 people, then you can click the link right there. Make sure you check that video out straight after this one too, because I'm sure it's gonna help you out as well. All right guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.